homesteading and today we are going to try out the beam machine. Uh, the beam machine for people that don't know what it is is basically the simplest uh, chainsaw mill that you will ever buy. It is basically just a guide that uh, clamps to your bar and keeps the chainsaw straight as you cut the uh, lumber. Uh, it's super simple. I don't know if Lee Valley Hardware still sells it. Um, that's where I bought it, but I have seen it on Amazon and eBay. My goal was to cut up some lumber so I can actually make raised beds. I didn't want to spend a ton of money. I have a bush lot, I have lots of trees, and I need to somehow turn them into lumber so I can actually get some benefit from them. And probably the amount of lumber I need is probably going to be six, seven hundred dollars and uh, that really cuts into the money you save by growing your own garden. If I can cut the trees on my property and mill it, I will be saving tons of money on it and you don't have to leave to go get it. So that's, uh, that is the big bonus of the whole thing. So I'm going to show you when I'm going to mill up. I have a bunch of ash that is dead around the property and I really want to get some use out of it. Like this is a nice tree. I don't have a ton of big, big trees, uh, but the ashes were decent size and it's too bad to see them all die. Might as well get some use out of them before they're all rotten. So we're going to yank this thing out of here and then uh, try to start milling it. So this is what the beam machine is. It's basically two parts. And you know what I like about this thing? It's actually, you can tell that it was handmade, welded and assembled. I think we have way too much stuff that's put together by robots. So there you go. That's what the beam machine is. Not bad for the first cut. I kind of lost my way. I lost my way right here, but that is pretty darn straight all along there. So there's very little twist. Look at here. Here, there's a little bit at the end, but that is not bad at all. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> man, those are hard to go in. Maybe I got shorter ones. One thing I did learn is I need to get shorter screws because this ash log is awful hard to put a screw into. What I'm planning to do now is put nails through. So I'll leave the nails permanently in the board. So I'll hammer the board down. If it doesn't grab because you're on bark or something, then I'll throw the big long screws in. But I won't put them in every one, make it easier.
I don't have a tape measure with me, but that looks pretty, pretty straight. I have to find a better way to fasten the board down uh, because anything I nail into this thing, I can't get out. Probably have to go with really short screws. I'll look for them tomorrow, but I want to finish one beam at least. Uh, it kind of works against you. When you're learning how to do something, it definitely works against you. So you got to remember this is the first time I've ever used it. So, but I'm actually pretty impressed how the chainsaw does cutting uh, these beams uh, it's barely working I know if I'm running the Alaskan sawmill it is just singing and it's working really hard uh, it barely seems to work at it uh, it does a real good job So I want you to keep in mind that this is the first time I've used it. This is the first beam I've ever made in it. And it came out pretty good. I messed up a few little spots. I could really see how this could work really well after using it for a little bit. And just getting some time on this thing, I'm sure you could get really, really quite good at it. And some logistical things like trying to screw into the ash. That was like a lesson of utility. Uh, hard, hard stuff. And then I nail it in. I thought, oh, okay, it's not going to stick through far and I could probably pull the nails out. No, the nails are stuck. So I'll show you the beam. Uh, the beam came out pretty good in my estimation. I probably should have brought a square out so we could see how square I got it. Uh, I think it's actually pretty decent. It looks pretty straight. Uh, the only thing I gotta find shorter screws that don't screw as far into ash. Ash is very hard to get a screw into and out of for some reason. But other than that, that went pretty good. I am super impressed with the beam machine. It is far exceeded my expectations. Uh, the chainsaw doesn't even work that hard to cut with it. it. Took me a long time to cut this beam. This is the first beam I've ever cut. So we ran into some logistical issues with how to fasten the board down. I feel that it took a reasonable amount of time to square up this log. So I'm super happy with it. Tomorrow I'm gonna come out and we're gonna see if we can get a whole lot done because I, I want to get all the wood for the raised beds done before the weekend because I want to start working in the pasture. I really want to get at the pasture because it's been taking so long, but I need to get all this wood cut for sure. Hopefully tomorrow it'll go a little faster and we'll get a little more cut, but uh, that's about enough for today and you guys have a good one.